this one very important chart gives us a glimpse into which ecosystems are the healthiest in the crypto world. So we have the total deployed projects by blockchain, Ethereum, 1,400 projects building directly on top of it, Polygon, 842 deployed projects, BNB chain, 790, beating Avalanche by a lot, 405 projects for Avalanche, 401 for Solana, Phantom in the next tier with 239, Optimism, 228, Near Protocol, Aptos with about 100, Cello with 92. So these are some of the top assets. Obviously, that list does not include Algorand. It does not include Cardano. But take note of Cello, Avalanche, and Optimism. We have announcements from all three assets, right? They're among the top tier. Well, first up, Optimism. We have a partnership with The Graph. The Graph is a blockchain indexing protocol. It's the Google of crypto. It allows you to query data on these blockchains. So a big partnership for The Graph there. Arbitrum, another layer two on Ethereum, partnering with The Graph. On the same day, we have an announcement from Avalanche, again, one of the top blockchains partnering up with the Graph, the Google of cryptocurrency. And then we have Cello, which was also on that list, Cello and the Graph, literally massive partnerships for the Graph protocol. Here is an update from the Algorand ecosystem, which did not make that list, but wasn't included, but there's plenty of assets being built on it, clearly. National Australia Bank to launch Stablecoin on Ethereum and Algorand, right? They're choosing to build on top of Algorand. Very good for the Algorand ecosystem. Here is a glimpse into what is going on in some blockchain infrastructure assets, specifically Filecoin. This is massive. Filecoin just crossed 500 petabytes of client data stored on the network, up 20x from January 1, 2022. Do you think there is any stopping this growth?